morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning. I gotta pee. Alright, so welcome back to another bathroom dialogue. Today, or yesterday, it was daylight saving. Yes, hello kitty. Meow. Alright, whatever. She's meowing, but not coming in. Oh, there she is. Yes? Anyways, daylight savings begins. Uh, the majority of the United States does daylight savings. There is one section over there near the west and the east, east and west, somewhere. Some places don't do it. What, kitty? She's no, she's like on the stairs or something. Anyway. They don't do daylight savings. Shut up, kitty. They don't do daylight savings times. Which honestly, why? Why do we do it? Yes, kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Um, it has something to do with farmers, I think. Uh, Mom was like, yeah, it'll be light when we wake up now. Yeah, it's not light now. It's not light right now. So the premise, or like a lot of people will say, daylight savings is great. Uh, spring forward, fall back. And they like the fall back part because they get an quote unquote extra hour of sleep. But that would only be true if you went to bed an hour early. As you can see by my face and the bags under my eyes, I didn't do that. I'm very tired. I watched SNL like one does when they watch SNL on a regular basis. That's just, you know, what I do. Russ falls asleep during SNL. He's usually asleep by the time um, Weekend Update comes on. And then he's like, don't delete it. And I'm like, I wasn't gonna, because he fell asleep. Anywho, um, yeah, daylight savings. I don't see the point for anyone other than I guess the farmers spring forward, fall back. Okay, bye. I love breakfast. What was this? My pans look like this because well, they just do. You know, I don't use them for things more. I use them for more than just baking. I use them for meats and stuff and, and then whatever. Okay, seriously. <sighs> My kitchen is dirty. My stovetop is dirty. It's got dried rice on it. Not uncooked rice, dried rice. I just piled it up right there. All right, let me clean this. I'm going to make some breakfast. Okay. In Australia, breakfast is called brekkie. Would you like some brekkie, mate? See, that's terrible accent. I can't do accents, so I'm sorry if I offended anybody. It was terrible. Maybe I offended myself. I offended myself with that terrible accent. It was absolutely wrong. I'm offended myself. I need a fork. Okay. Did you also know I've done whisk the hell out of them eggs. Whisk the hell out of them eggs. Anyways, um, 
Oh yeah, that's gonna get fried. Apparently I had some leftover oil in there. I didn't look, no I didn't look. So also, in England, a biscuit, a cookie is a biscuit, but a biscuit is something else. I don't remember what they call it in England. But here in America, America, Oh, what did I do that out of? There we go. Here in America, we say things. So here's what I've learned. The English accent is not the original way people talked in England. In America is in like the very center of America, I guess, where all the accents kind of just smash together. Yeah, smash, smash together. They smash together and form some, like, universal uh, accent where you can't tell exactly where they're from, you know? Like, oh, that person's from New York, that person's from Wisconsin, that person's from Alabama or whatever. You can't tell that. It's like a very middle of the road accent. Anyway, that accent was back in like the 1800s or back in before they colonized, before they came to the United States. No, before they came to America and took over everything, they, the English accent was invented or not invented, whatever the word is for when people start choking. No, when people start talking and doing stuff regular. Anyway, um, the accent came about when uh, the higher up people they started to speak like that as a form of, um, I can't think of the word. What is the word? Where they're like higher up, the, the level people that are just like more pompous and, and prestigious and pompous is not the right word and whatever, whatever the words are, I can't think of. But anyways, they, the English accent stemmed from that, whereas the American accent stems from not that. <laughs> it's just uh, the American accent, I guess, just Google it, you know, the American accent is the original accent, depending on in America where you are. I have a northern accent. It's not like Canadian, way, way up north in the UK, or UK, the UP, the Yukon, way up there. I don't speak like that, but I do have a Wisconsin accent where I overpronunciate my vowels, like O's and A's, mostly. It just is what it is, you know? I And I say, you know. People in Wisconsin say, you know, don't you know is more of a Minnesota thing. Um, yeah, my egg is fried. All right, cool. Let me turn that off. It is fried, fried. Yeah, I have that oil in here. Let me fry that bit. I need to flip it. I need a flipper. should do sometime I should make pancake batter and see if I can make one big pancake in this pan like like if it bakes in the pan you know what I mean I'm gonna try that sometime 
I don't have pancake batter, so I would have to like, you know, make it and stuff. All right, well, I gotta get back to work. Okay, bye. Look at all those leaves. That's a lot of leaves and it's so it's cold. I have to rake. Jeez Louise, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Rule number one, don't die. That's rule number one. As long as you obey rule number one, then all the rest of the rules should come smoothly. Because if you're dead, you can't follow the rest of the rules. But in any case, rule number one, don't die. I, what did I, was I don't know, I forgot what I was going to say. I something. I, Jennifer Louise Olsen, formerly Jennifer Louise Ellis, something or other in some stuff, who knows what. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. <sighs> um, I forgot. You know, I'll get back to you. I don't remember. Hi. I did the dishes. Well, I put them away. You see this? It's not dirty. I don't know if you can see. You know what? Hold on one second. Let me try something. Is that better? I don't know. If you see this, it looks... Can you see, like, the white spots? That's kind of soap scummy or something. You can wipe it out with just a paper towel. So it just kind of wipes off really easy like. But what I like to do to make my pans um, act better is I'll wipe that out. We'll do that. But then I will also put a thin, thinnest, thinnest layer of oil, in this case, coconut oil. Just tiniest amount. Of, you know, I'll take my thing, go boop. Alexa, stop. And I have the tiniest amount. And then just kind of rub that in there as well. And when we finish getting that all rubbed in there, check that out. It looks practically brand new. Nice, huh? Yeah. And that will just sit in there till the next time I'm ready to use it. And then when we're ready to use it, it's all nice and uh, like new. So that's what I like to do. Hello, JJ. Oh yeah, somebody is hungry. Gigi's hungry. You are. Gigi's hungry. You want the food? This your food? Hey, don't bark at me. You want the food? Hey, be quiet. Stay. Sit. Stay. It's a good girl. Stay. Stay. And as soon as you put your little foot up, you put your little foot up. You hungry? Eat. Good girl. Okay. That was enough torture for the dog, I think. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Ross had a meeting, a little business meeting for him, a little, little business meeting, you know, something or other. Little, little business, little business meeting. I don't know why I'm talking like that. So last week, Friday or someday, I had 
it had that, um, what was it called? The chicken that I had made. I don't remember. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, nuggets. It's like a seasoned chicken, garlic, herb, marinated, you know? Anyway, I didn't know what else to do with the marinade. So I put in this, this is the marinade. There's fish in it. So I'm going to cook this fish. Hopefully it's not bad because, you know, it's been in there for a few days now. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty dang good, if you ask me. I got a couple of fish fillets in here, so I'm just going to take these out, put them in the pan. I'm just going to pan pan fry them or pan cook them or whatever the heck, whatever the heck you want to call it. Oh yeah, that's going to stick together for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't feel like uh, putting it in the, it should be in a cookie sheet, on a cookie sheet and then, you know, um, put in the uh, oven, but I'm, I don't feel like it. So now I'm going to dump the rest of it. We have been rinsed. Isn't that wonderful? I got to rinse the top off too. Oh, very exciting. So exciting. So exciting. I don't have anything to talk about. I'm just making noises with my face. You know, how I'd like to do when you're just talking about nothing. Um, we need to go grocery shopping. We have a can of pasta sauce. We have a can of green beans. A can of corn. Two cans of tuna. And is this one the open one? A box and a half of noodles. Some cream of wheat. Some mashed potatoes in a box. A box of devil's food. I should make this. It's a devil's food cake. A couple of things of marinating juices. There's some teriyaki marinade. And a signature steakhouse. What is this? It's a marinade. Signature steakhouse marinade. I should get some steak. Some meat. Some red meat. We'll get some other things like this. French fry dipping sauce. Which is probably like the Big Mac sauce that is on McDonald's or something. I'm not really sure. I haven't tasted it. Then we also have some seasoning, seasoned coating mix. It's, um, you know, for making like fried chicken or something. But anyway, that's what's in our cupboard. That's all the food we have to eat. Yep, we got some veggies in the fridge. Oh, I should make some veggies. Yes, I should. So I'm going to make some veggies. I'm going to have a really good supper. So just flip the fish because it, when it's not frozen, it cooks pretty quick. It's tilapia, just marinated in that stuff. So flip the fish. Um, they didn't stick together, so that's cool. It wouldn't have mattered if it did. But then also in my other pan here, I put in the um, pepper stir fry mix. Just right here. It's just the onion red red it's like all the pepper colors and onions is basically what that is 
there's no like seasoning or whatever for the stir fry mix but that it doesn't really need it I'm just gonna salt it I'll put some salt in there after I mix it up you know make sure it's not frozen still I'll mix it up put some salt in it and then I'll have some nice uh, veggies for my side so we'll see how that turns out you'll see it once I plate it then I get to eat it mmm Yep, that looks pretty dang good to me. Garlic herb, it's tilapia, but whatever. And some mixed veggies on the side. Yeah, this will be great. This ain't good for you, Didi. Good evening. Feet. It's bedtime. Feet, it's actually feet. only 8.58. We're just gonna stay up in bed and chill out and watch TV in the bed. That's like I said gonna be in bed so I'm tired feel very sleepy I don't know why but I do this here is a uh, Calypso Colada Seagram's I'm why am I drinking it because I'm an adult I can do that it's just a thing you know when you are over of the adult drinking age in the United States which is 21, you get to drink when you want to, and so on. Um, I don't have anything to say that's important, not that I usually do, so with that being said, I am going to go to bed. That being said, I'm going to go to bed. Let's have rhyme, hey, hey, hey. Okay, anyway, um, that was weird, and uh, have a good night. Toodles. Bye-bye.